Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there is an expression out there that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's meaning that some people find something aesthetically pleasing, while other people find it ugly as sin, and that applies to game engines as well. Thing is, when you go back in time with the Godot game engine, the very first release, which you see in front of you right now, this is Godot 1.1, and um... Even at the time, I gotta be honest, uh, no offense to Godot team, but uh, it was ugly as sin. Uh, this was basically an interface that only a mother could love, and even she would secretly admit that her child was kind of ugly. So this is where Godot started from, and to be honest, I've been a big fan of Godot for a very, very long time. But the aesthetics of the engine itself have never been really high up on my list. We moved up a little bit better. This is Godot 2. You're seeing it on a high DPI display. It did not have good high DPI scaling. That's why things are looking really kind of tiny. But I'll zoom in over a couple of things. Our menu system, they were like these weird chunky buttons over here. Some of it actually is pretty consistent to this day. And some of it is ugly as hell. Here are your uh, 2D and 3D view toggles that you'll see now. Uh, they're just um, not aligned, not tabs, nothing like that. So let's just say, even at this stage of Godot 2.x, it, it was still it was still pretty ugly, to be honest. Now we moved on to the world of Godot 3. Now you're going to see with Godot 3, we're starting to look a whole lot more like modern Godot. Things definitely got prettier. You can see we've at least uh, aligned our controls centrally like here. Um, I, I got to admit, still not the most aesthetic aesthetically pleasing thing you've ever seen. It's not bad. It's definitely an improvement. I, I've also never been a huge fan of the blue that they continue to go with, uh, but this is Godot 3. Now, at this point in time, Godot is definitely getting better looking, so uh, this is more on par with its peers. Speaking of its peers, and again, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Uh, we move on now to Unity. This is Unity 6 beta. Uh, and I honestly think that Unity is desperately in need of a facelift these days, too. About five or six years ago, I think they were the best-looking game engine out there, aesthetically, like in terms of uh, UI design, font choices, layout, and so on. Now I'm just honestly finding this a bit ugly as well, especially when we look up here and they don't have proper window theming in the dark mode, things like that. So let's just say the competition isn't perfect either. And now we're going to split uh, probably opinions here quite a bit. Now we're into um, Unreal Engine. This is Unreal Engine 5.3. And honestly, I think that they have the best UI, at least from an aesthetics point of view uh, of the engines we're talking about today. I think this has the best clarity of things. Now, at the same time, some of this is just overwhelming, too many menus, too many things. There's definitely some flaws with their approach, but there's other things that they do, especially this one. Control space to bring up the dock. That is just, everybody should adopt that. It's sort of like how uh, Maya brought out the QWERTY keys for select move and so on. I think everybody should do the same thing here. Control space, brings up your file manager, Mwah. chef's kiss. I'm gonna show you actually how you could do that in the Godot game engine as well. Speaking of Godot again, here we go back to semi-modern. So this is Godot 4.2 as of writing. This is the current version. 4.3 is in beta, but it hasn't changed a whole lot from an aesthetics point of view. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. It's uh, It looks better than it did. I still, um, some of the font choices, the contrast here, not my favorite. I don't find things stand in. And once again, the blue is there. Uh, that I would never really got this choice of this blue-gray coloring scheme. Uh, but I would actually argue at this point in time, most part, Godot is definitely looking better than the Unity game engine. I'm curious your opinion here in terms of aesthetics. What do you like better? Unity, Godot, Oh, sorry, I guess I should do them. Unity, Unreal Engine, or Godot. So anyways, the point of this video is you don't have to leave it this way. You can make um, Godot look quite a bit better, in my humble opinion. And we're going to use someone's theme today to show you this. There's a creator out there called Passive Star. If you do not follow him on Twitter, I highly recommend you do. He's an entertaining soul, plus he releases some very handy and useful things. Now what we're going to do is check out one of those very handy and useful things, which is this. So this is his Godot minimal theme. Uh, it makes Godot look like this instead. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and do this. I will have the link to this uh, down below or a link to the link to this anyways. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and download the version. There are two versions out there, one for high PPI and high and one for regular. Now high PPI is pixels per inch, not high resolution. So it doesn't matter if you're using 4K or whatever. It's just if you have a super dense display. So if you've got like a 4K display that's like 14 inches in size, your PPI is going to be off the chart. Use the high PPI version. So when you're dealing with Godot, 
what you can do is you come into editor, editor settings like so. And you're gonna find over here, there is an option for themes. So right now, this is the default theme. There are a number of options here. So if you wanna go darker, uh, you can do so right here. So let's go ahead, theme that out. So like a lighter of approach there. Uh, we can go full dark over here. So we can just OLED black dark. This is hideous in my humble opinion. Uh, but it'd be good for if you're more of a high contrast approach. I guess it's not hideous. It's just, it's a little too stark in my humble opinion. We can go back to that retro Godot 2-ish color. Uh, I actually think this, we still have Godot 2 up, by the way. So this was Godot 2, so it's the same color scheme. And you can see basically just how far Godot has come in some of the aesthetics terms here. But what I'm going to do now is use the new theme. So in order to do this, basically come on in here, go to the editor settings, like so once again, go to theme, scroll on down here. So we're gonna switch this guy out to uh, custom, right? So scroll on down here, go to the downloads, and you're going to find the theme. So again, there are two options. There's gonna be editor theme T-Res or editor theme high PPI. If you're using a standard large monitor, you're gonna just wanna use this one right here. And then go ahead and do a save and restart. This will apply the theme and give you the settings uh, that he set up for it. And you're gonna, again, look here really quickly in terms of the contrast mostly. That's where the big difference is gonna be. So here we are now loading in with the new theme. Um, okay, now we're showing uh, Godot 2 for a second. So if you're thinking, okay, we just got a lot uglier. No, uh, we're just loading. So here we go, uh, loading in our new project with the new theme. And now there are a couple of color settings that he recommends to set up. And I actually agree with his settings here too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. They're all here in the theme section as well. So his recommendation is to change the base color here. Uh, so this guy right here and change this out to 252525, like so. And then the accent color right here and change that out to 569EFF like so. Done. And we got contrast, set that down to 0 0.2 and then icon saturation, set it to 2. And done. So this is an updated themed version of Godot using Passive Stars theme. So we've done, uh, it's just a little bit of clarification. He's changed up the, the font spacing, the contrast on the icons, the uh, um, bordering and the padding of various different things in the scenes, some of the spacings around it, nothing too, too major. But in my humble opinion, this actually just looks quite a bit better. I, I would say at this point in time, this theme, although I would ultimately probably lay things out a little bit different. So I would probably, you know, move everything over to the right hand side. Let's move this one to the bottom, like so. So something a bit more like this set up. Okay, my game, my uh, computer is now getting upset about the number of game engines I have running. All right, so what I would actually probably do is move this down a little bit more, but there's one other change I'm gonna show you today that I would make, that I think make Godot just that much nicer. If you go in here, uh, to the asset library, and you search for, ironically enough, asset, uh, what you will find is there is a tool in here called the asset drawer. I would actually recommend trying this one out as well. I actually think this is very nice. Um, I actually have it already in here. So, well actually, yeah, this project already has it. So go here, project settings, go to plugins, and then you're gonna find asset drawer available here. If you don't already have it, just basically grab it this way and download it, and we're gonna enable that as well. So what you're gonna notice is my file system just popped away, and it now moved down here. I like this a lot better. So what I would actually do is move these guys over, so move them to the bottom, like this, and have a split scene inspector view, like this, give myself a little bit more screen space. And then what you're gonna notice is now your file system is available down here. Now you got a bunch of controls over how it's actually shown. And I think this split view is the way to go. So basically here, and you will have a navigation tree on the left and then your file system on the right. Now, the reason why I like this so much better uh, as a setup, and I actually honestly think configured this way, uh, especially if we go with something that shows uh, icons, it, 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 this is just much, more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And it's also a nicer workflow on the whole. And the thing that I very much like about this asset drawer is I can hit control space 
and toggle it in and out. Again, I think this should be the universal norm. This came from the world of Unreal Engine, and I think everybody should literally rip it off. But uh, that is our modified version of Godot. Uh, I think looking like this, themed like this, using uh, Passive Star theme uh, specifically, but any theme you set up on the whole, I think you can make Godot look pretty much as good as every engine out there. I still honestly think that Unreal Engine is the best looking engine out there right now, but I would no longer say, well, again, let's do the evolution. Godot 1, uh, again, only a mother could love it. Godot 2, uh, it's still pretty ugly. Godot 3, we're starting to move obviously very much towards where we're at now. And then here you can see themed version Godot 4 configured uh, how I like it at least. I think that this is Pinnacle Godot, and that's just my humble opinion. Unfortunately, I can't use themes in my videos because I'm kind of showing you how things work, and if I've changed around from the default, it's gonna be more confusing for people just starting out. But if you are using Godot, just do be very aware, it is very, very themable, uh, and you can make it look quite a bit nicer. But I'm curious what you think of first this compared to stock Godot and the Godot evolution from Godot 1 through out to 4 that we're at now. And also, what do you think between the various different game engines out there? Do you think Godot as, looks as good or better? And which one would you rate as the best looking? Let me know. Comments down below. And also, uh, the links to both of these things, both the Passive Stars doc and this um, Asset doc plugin will be available down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.